Yo, Jason Eubanks and HHBowling.com, hashtag hit it harder. Check out the new t-shirt. It is on the website. Hitting it hard is deep inside you. All you gotta do is dig deep to bring it out. Bam. <laughs> so you wanna learn how to drill a bowling ball at home. This is my home setup. I had a lot of people hit me up asking me, what do I use? How do I set it up? So now that's what we're gonna talk about. Um, before all the trolls get in the comments talking about support pro shops and whatnot, I still do. This is for personal use. I do not drill anybody else's stuff. If UPS comes it's Sunday at 8 o'clock at night, I have a tournament Monday morning. If I want to drill a ball at, Monday, at midnight, I can do it. <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with that. I've been using pro shops for the last I don't know how many years even though I've been knowing how to drill my own stuff. My dad had his shop, my brother ran that shop, my brother taught me, I drilled his stuff, a lot of my friend's stuff, and I just stopped doing it because I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. But now that I do the bar reviews, it only made sense for me to drill my own stuff again. So, um, I'm gonna get, go over the very basics that you'll need to be able to get set up. You can always expand later on, add to your shop, you know to make things a whole lot easier and like I said this is for personal use only for me so let's check it out first thing you're gonna to need to do is get a jig yes that is the first thing you're gonna to need to do I found this jig on Facebook in a Facebook group called used uh, pro shop equipment join that group $150 it is an older Jayhawk version uh, drill jig don't get confused by the, oh, that's old technology, whatnot. How is math and numbers, how can that be old technology? The process, is, the numbers are still the same. The process may change, but as long as you get to that goal, it doesn't matter. Like, we went on the moon in, what, the 60s, and we haven't gone back because we don't have the technology to do it now? How much sense does that make? Zero. <laughs> So get a, a jig and start off with that. That's all you need. The thing that you'll absolutely need is a drill press. This is all preference. You can get a floor model, tabletop model, doesn't matter as long as the jig that you have can fit in between the base and the chuck. Doesn't matter what you do. I picked up a win with a 17 inch floor model off of Home Depot. I think I paid $5.99 or something like that. You can go to Harbor Freight. You can get one off of Craigslist, offer up, let go, doesn't matter. Drill press, and as long as your jig fits in between your chuck, this is why we had you get the jig first. Drill press, done. So the next thing you'll absolutely need are your drill bits. Now, I don't use inserts. So I have the sizes that I need for my fingers. So like I said, since this is personal use, I mean, I have oodles and oodles of drill bits that I'll never use because I just drill for myself. So you need your finger drill bit if you use inserts, whatever bits, that's for you to decide, but you need to pick those up. Okay, so now you have the bare necessities in setting up your pro shop. You have your bowling ball jig, you have a drill press, and you have the drill bits that you're going to need. Now, technically, you can start punching holes in balls now if you wanted to, but it may not feel, like I said, it may not feel the way you think it's gonna feel with your jig and your pitches and whatnot. So, this is part of the setup and the things that you'll need to actually set up to make the balls feel how you want them to feel. The next thing you're going to need is this bad boy here. This is a plug cutter. Now, it doesn't matter if you plan on plugging bowling balls or not, this is a good thing to have to get everything set to make sure everything is right. So, all these fancy numbers on your jig won't mean a thing if your jig isn't perfectly aligned with your chuck and whatnot. Let me zoom out here, okay? So, let me zoom back. So this particular jig, you can swing it left, right, front, back, or whatnot. These are your, your pitch angles and whatnot. So if this 
isn't straight, these don't mean a thing, like I said. So the purpose of this plug cutter is while you're setting up your drill press, this is the perfect shape of a bowling ball. See, so you see how it's daylight here? Let me try to zoom in a little bit. You can kind of see the day, let me, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, there. You see how the ball is touching here and it's daylight here? That lets me know that this jig isn't set at zero right now. So if you had everything on zero, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's not lining up. The ball's gonna feel like crap. So you wanna put everything on zero on your jig, get a plug cutter, check front, back, left, right, diagonal, make sure that the ball is touching equally all the way around. Now, a lot of shops may not like this, but hey, if you ever get a ball plugged and it's gouges here or whatnot while it's spinning, the only way you can gouge one portion of the ball without the other is if your drill press isn't in alignment. It's just that, that simple because that's a perfect fit. So if you're digging deep here and that's not touching, your machine's out of calibration. Sorry to say it, get it fixed. <laughs> okay, so while you have your plug cutter out, you wanna hook it up, touch the top of the ball, then you're gonna move, like you see, this isn't, you know, put everything at zero, zero, make everything's fine. You need to secure your jig to the base of whatever you're mounting to. If you have a tabletop or whatever, you wanna secure the jig to it. I took a couple 3 8 bolts, drilled through it, bolted, got some on the front, couple on the back, um, just so that your, your jig doesn't move on your drill press. I've seen people use clamps, whatever floats your boat, whatever you have access to. You just wanna make sure that this doesn't move after you have this centered this way and that way. Okay, so the last thing you're going to need to be able to basic thing to start drilling bowling balls is a ruler and a pencil. That way you can mark, um, mark the lines that you wanna hit. Now you can dig deeper into that. If all you wanna do, you don't care about layouts, you don't care about the technical stuff, you're good to go, have at it, have fun. Only thing is, make sure you bevel out, bevel out your hose. You can pick up one of these sanders here. So, very, very basic at minimum stuff that you're gonna need is a bowling ball jig. That is bowling related, you have to get one of those. Can't substitute it for anything else. Unless you have like a milling machine or, you know, like a, yeah, one of those, yeah, but yeah, you're trying to DIY it. <laughs> 150 bucks here, okay? Um, drill press, any drill press you want, find it, doesn't matter, price is up to you. Plug cutter, I got mine for free, it came with the jig, ask a pro shop, try to buy one, it's like, hey, you have an old plug cutter I can use? A lot of shops renew them, so you don't want it to be sharp. You don't need it to be sharp. You just want the contour of the plug cutter to calibrate your machine. Drill bits. Whatever you're going to use, I use just straight ball and a thumb mold. So I only need three drill bits, nothing special. Get the drill bits that you need, bare minimum. Um, like I said, get you a sander that you can sand the ball, sand the holes after you're finished. And that's pretty much it. So if you wanna dig deeper into it, you're gonna need a pitch gauge. The pitch gauge will let you know that the holes that you drilled are what you drilled them to. That'll uh, further confirm your calibration of your drill press. Find one of these, or if you can't afford one of these, uh, pro shop, let me know what these pitches are. Pay them for their time though, do not waste your time. Um, pro set. You wanna start doing dual angle layouts, get more involved in your game, start experimenting with some stuff, get one of these. Not needed, but hey, you can start drilling holes without it. Um, you know, your glue, hammer, that's pretty all self-explanatory. Uh, drill, um, ball spinner. I bought this table for about 50 bucks on offer up. I built my own ball spinner in it. Um, cost me, think 20 bucks for the bowl. This is like a donkey bowl that I built. That's different. 
Like I said, all you want to do is get started and add on as you go to things that you want to need. It's for personal use, so I just need the stuff that I need to drill my stuff. So that's pretty much all you're going to need to start drilling bowling balls. Expand as you need, expand as you want, hit it harder.